Hey everybody, welcome to the Cooking with Tennessee White Trash Show. On today's episode, we're going to be cooking sous vide style. Well, what is sous vide, you ask? Well, it's a French term that means under vacuum. But what it means to me is under vacuum and water immersion cooking. I'm going to show you how to do that. Tell you about the machine. And show you a nice steak. So anyway, sit back and enjoy the show. And thanks for watching. Okay, so here we go. We've got our vacuum sealer, our meat, vacuum bag, some seasoning of your choice. Uh, I'm just using regular salt and pepper. And then you have your sous vide machine and a pot of water. This is uh, the Innova Precision Cooker. I got it, uh, they had it on sale for 129 bucks online and uh, works pretty good. It's actually their Bluetooth model. It's kind of a mid-grade. They have a regular model for, they had it at 100 bucks at that time. And uh, this one was 129 and then they had the Wi-Fi which was 199 and that was pretty cool but you know I was gonna try this out and see how I liked it so anyway what we're gonna do is, is we're gonna go ahead and set the temperature for that and um, or you know how you want your steak whether you want it rare medium rare so anyway so for a steak I want uh, I guess medium well so we're gonna cook that at uh, about a hundred and eh, 145 degrees I want to dial it down to 145 you can see that the current temperature is 67.4 of the water here it does have a minimum maximum line I've got it filled just to the minimum but you go ahead and hit the start button And then that's gonna get the water warmed up so okay and that is what happens when the water gets too low or you don't have it filled up enough so we're gonna go ahead and add some more water Just keep in mind that the water level will rise once you put your food in there. So always keep that in mind. So we're going to go ahead and restart this. Now, and I don't know if you heard the, the uh, air bubbles down in there whenever this thing first came on. That's what detected it and made it stop. So it's basically just getting air and air, and then it's basically a safety feature so it doesn't burn up. But anyway, while this is heating up, we're gonna go ahead and slide it back out of the way. Bring our vacuum sealer in. And like I said, we're gonna go ahead and season this meat first. And like I said, use whatever you want. I just use some kosher salt and some uh, black pepper but uh, feel free to use your favorite seasoning you can even put uh, marinade in here and you know do it that way uh, I just think salt and pepper is just simple and it's all I really care about right now anyway so I got my salt and pepper on there or salt rather and put the pepper on put this back over here some pepper on this side you don't have to use a vacuum sealer you can also they got what's called the water immersion technique where you just take a ziploc bag put it over in the pot and just keep the top open until you get it down and get all the air out and then seal it up and then you're ready to go some people attach it to the side of the pot uh, just to kind of hold it in place, but I'm going to go ahead and get this in the vacuum bag here. Holding it over the sink so I don't want to cause a mess and plus I'm going to rinse my hand here. Okay. 
but it's great to, uh, you can make them in advance, freeze the steaks. It's like I, I bought a six pack of steaks and then pulled this one out and uh, put the other five in the same kind of bag with the salt and pepper on there. So I can just take it out, throw it in the water straight from frozen, and it's gonna be just as good as this right here. Um, takes about 30, at least 30 minutes longer to cook when it goes from frozen in there. So I usually, I'll run it 45 minutes to an hour longer. It's not gonna hurt it because you're heating it up to that temperature that you want. So I'm gonna go ahead and seal this and you want normal uh, for your speed and moist for the food setting. There we go, got a good seal on this. Close this down, and then we're going to move this out of the way. Oh. Our sous vide machine here, you can see it's up to 86.2. And it's going, going and going here. But it'll take it a little bit for this to heat up. Uh, some people have insulated pots. Um, some people put plastic over it or whatever or cover. You know to make it uh, uh, heat up faster and retain the heat so I don't know it, this right here seems to work good for me so anyway I'll let this thing heat up here and then we'll come back okay so our machine here is uh, almost heated up I could actually just go ahead and throw it in right now but it's gonna show you this little app while we're waiting here you see Hopefully it'll focus in with the Anova app. Let's click on that, it pops up. You can go in here and select recipes. And even uh, Ming Tsai, it's a chef on PBS. Uh, he's got a few good recipes in here. But uh, you can go up here and do whatever, favorite recipes. Just sit here and then uh, hit your temp and time where you can actually go in here this is tenderloin steak, 45 minutes. And ask how you like it. Let's go ahead and we're going to do medium. There's 144.9. And then that's about an inch and a half to two inches thick. 45 minutes. That's all it's going to take. I mean, this is just, it's just foolproof. Uh, Foolproof cooking, that's basically what sous vide is. So, anyway, we're gonna go back here. Then we're gonna go ahead and, oh, excuse me, it's 139.5 is the temperature. Just basically drop your steak in, just make sure it's submerged in the water, just like so. And then that's pretty much it. And this is pretty much, you wait and then once the timer goes off, then I'll be taking it and putting it in a skillet just to basically uh, sear it on both sides and get a good crust on it. So the inside should be pretty perfect to the way I like it, which is medium well. So anyway, I'll be back here in a few minutes. Okay, well, we've got a few minutes to go here, about five minutes, as you can see right here on the timer. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my skillet on the stovetop and uh, start heating it up, put a little bit of butter in there. That way we can sear the steak here and it'll be pretty good and hot whenever I get it done. Okay, we're going to go ahead and sear this steak here. Go ahead and cut it out of the bag. First, let me get some butter on here. And there you can see the steaks pretty much just done. And all we're gonna do, as you can see, it's not very appealing like that. So we're gonna go ahead and put a nice sear on it. It's just a couple of minutes for each side. 
alternate, alternate well, yeah, I could have, uh, probably see her head on that side a little bit longer. But uh, ultimately, I could have uh, just brushed some oil on here, you know, like uh, vegetable oil, just on the steak itself. Or actually, probably just put butter on the steak itself. And, uh, you know, cooked it like that instead of putting butter in the pan, but it's okay. getting there it's almost so I'm gonna flip it back over here and it's right here in the center where it hasn't got hit too good mash it down here One thing, you know, if you don't have an Anova, there's another one out called the Jewel, uh, which it's probably the same way. But uh, anyway, if you don't know the times and temps and everything, there is a website called ChefSteps.com, and uh, they uh, they actually have uh, um, a nice guide on there for just ba just the basics. So. All right, so just me cutting in the steak. Uh, that way you can see how it's cooked inside. Like I said, we were going for a medium. And as you can see, that's pretty much a medium right there. That looks awesome. That's the good thing about sous vide is that, you know, it cooks it the way you want. I mean, it's precise cooking and uh, you know, like I said, it doesn't, regular steaks, uh, you wouldn't get that. If you wanted a medium well, I mean, it, it'd be rare in the center. Uh, and that's just the way it is, but, you know, it's, like I said, it's pretty great. So, anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I look forward to you watching the next one. Thanks.